Hi everyone, this is Jorg from Civil Center and welcome to our channel. As we know, Civil Center is continuously working with the vision to guide civil engineering student and professional. And for that, we keep making videos on different topics and on different software related to civil engineering field. So what are we going to talk about today? Today, we are basically going to talk about the different seismic zones in India. Okay, so we will start with the basics. So first of all, what are the different loads that are acting on a building? So these are dead load, light load, seismic load and wind load. Then we use the load combinations to design our buildings, right? So this much you have must be clear to you. Now, if seismic load is being applied on that, then what is the basis of applying that seismic load? Then that is applied on the basis of different seismic zones. Now, when it comes to seismic zones, then India is divided in four different seismic zones and the zones are two, three, four and five. Yeah, zone one was also there at once, but after the earthquake in Nepal, it has been devised and now we have IS code IS 1893 2016. That is the revised version and in that version, uh, like uh, government of India has eradicated the first a seismic zone that is zone one has been eradicated and now we are left with just four seismic zones which are two three four and five okay now the point that we need to like uh, learn more is that zone two is having the least intensity of the uh, like earthquake and zone five is having the maximum intensity of the earthquake now we are going to understand the zones with the help of the IS code that is IS 1893 2016 and with the help of the map that is there in the code. So guys you can see this is the criteria for the earthquake resistance design of a structure and this is the sixth revision and what I am using is IS 1893 part 1 2016. Okay so this is IS code and if you will just go little down in the size code then you will find that we have a map of India and in that it has shown the different seismic zones. So you can see there are four different colors that are being shown over here and these colors are representing like the zone two, three, four and five. Okay. So if you will see on the top, then you can see zone five is in the eastern part of the country and somewhere in the northeastern part of the country, if we will say. Okay. So some parts of the Bihar, then all these seven sisters and then and some parts of the Jammu and the Himachal and then in Gujarat. Okay, so these are the different uh, areas that are having the maximum intensity of the earthquake and so they are coming into zone 5. Now when it comes to zone 2, then you can see this blue color and this is covering the zone 2. So this is having the least intensity of the earthquake and like this you can simply just find out where your plot or the place that you are constructing is lying in that particular zone. So whenever you have to decide like, okay, I have to design a building and now I have to like find out in which seismic zone it is lying. So now all these seismic zones have a particular factor. So that is already inbuilt in the software and you can also find that in this uh, like code book also like over here you can see seismic zone factor check. So this is what you have to like uh, put the value in the software, whether you are using AutoCAD or sorry, the Start Pro or Tecla Structural Designer. However, the code is already been there. So these factors are automatically taken. But if it is not, then you are going to use these values. Okay. So zone two is having a zone factor of 0.1. Then zone three is 0.16. Zone 5 is having the zonal factor of 0.24 and then zone 5 is having the highest intensity and that is of 0.36. Okay, so you can study these ice codes and you can just find out where your plot is locating and according to that what zonal factor I have to provide and if not then you can simply just provide the in which zone your plot is lying and you can simply go ahead with the design process. So guys, I think that in this video, you have clarified your concepts about the seismic zones in India. And if you want a video on any particular topic, then you can simply leave your comment in the comment section. And if you have liked this video, hit the like button, share it with your friends and colleagues and subscribe to our channel. And if you want to start your consultancy as 
then you can simply get a free webinar that is also in the description you can just go ahead watch that free webinar and you can directly connect with us and if you want to join our professional training then the link is there in the description go ahead register yourself over there and our team will connect with you till then take care bye bye